baby. <laughs> Hey guys, so today I want to talk about sleep training. It was my most requested video. This little lady is sleeping 10 hours a night and she's three months. Say hey, 10 hours a night, 10 hours a night, hey, 10 hours a night, yay! <laughs> so I'm gonna talk about what I did to sleep train her and the tricks that worked for us. So the first thing I did was put her on a schedule. I read the Baby Wise book and it really maps out a really good schedule for newborns and I highly recommend it if you are just like at a loss of how to schedule out your baby's day. I think starting from day one is super important and trying to put them on a schedule. It's hard in the beginning, in the first four weeks, uh, but after a month they start to get used to the routine and you start to find your flow. So with London, I feed her every two and a half to three hours. She wakes up about 6.30, 6 or 6.30 every morning, and then from there, that's when her schedule starts. So every two and a half to three hours, she's fed. She has some awake time, some play time, and then nap time. <laughs> so I don't follow the Baby Wise book to a T. I kind of like follow, we follow our own schedule, but it really helps me in structuring a really good schedule for her and having a good day schedule really helps the baby to sleep at night. The next thing I do is have a strict bedtime. So her bedtime is 8 o'clock. I'm not flexible on that at all. Um, it's to the point where 8 o'clock rolls around and she knows it's bedtime and she starts to get fussy and she's like, I am ready for bed. When she was five weeks, her bedtime was 10 o'clock and then she started getting fussy around eight weeks, around like nine o'clock, so I raised it to nine o'clock, and then now she gets fussy at eight, so now she goes to bed at eight. And the last thing I do is have a bedtime routine for her. So we do the same exact thing every single night. So when eight o'clock rolls around, I give her a fresh diaper, change her into her pajamas, and we go into the room, and I turn on a red light, and red light helps to increase melatonin while you're sleeping. It helps you sleep longer and deeper. And I introduced the red light to her when she was five weeks and it really made a difference right away. She slept longer, she slept five hours and then she would do a dream feed and then go right back to sleep for another maybe two or three hours. And gradually her stretches of sleep got longer and now she's at 10 hours. So when I turn on the red light, I just feed her and then she drifts off to sleep so she knows this is her bedtime. And then I put her in the bassinet and she goes to sleep until the morning. I do want to note that we have this new bassinet and I highly recommend it. I think it's worth the money. It really helps her to sleep longer. It, what it does is it's intuitive and it will rock the baby if the baby starts crying and help them to put themselves back to sleep. So using the snoo and also having a routine really help to stretch her sleep longer sooner, I think. And we only use the snoo at night uh, so she knows the difference between her nap time and her bedtime sleep. So when she's in the snoo, she knows we are not seeing her till the morning, right? Go sleep all the way to the morning. Yeah. She's too busy eating her hand to care. So those are the things I did to sleep train her. It is a process and it's a gradual process. Um, but I think starting early was really helpful for us. And now she is a professional sleeper. <laughs> if you have any specific questions about my process, leave them in the comments below. Like this video, share it with a friend, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.